What's going on, guys? Lockout Men back with another informational podcast for you guys. Uh, this invisible threat is still threatening our lives, turning up turmoil everywhere, and and just and just doing the damn thing that's that's causing uh, a lot of alarm, a lot of fear. Um. And just causing a lot of turmoil right now. Let's let's jump into it. Yo, what's up, guys? Lockout Man here, back again with another video. Uh, welcome to the Lockout Man podcast for you. Um, as you guys can see, I'm still here, still rocking these videos out for you, these podcasts for you, getting the information that comes in to me to come out to you guys. Um, now I went live a few times and and noticed that you guys couldn't hear me. Uh sometimes couldn't hear me. I just finally realized what that was. And it's a lot of programs using the mic, which is cutting or using the mixer that the mic is connected to, that's cutting off the sound to this program right here that I use for my live streams so hopefully going into the future i won't have that problem because i won't have all those other programs open but let's talk about today's topic man this uh this gentleman uh this bus driver you know he um he made a heartwarming uh video about you know about the seriousness of the disease right now or the the uh the virus i'm sorry disease virus but um unfortunately he passed now this video was done uh, a while back but now it's gaining traction because he was a detroit bus driver and wonder why it's it, it's hitting close to home because my brother-in-law is a RTA driver up in Cleveland. And and I I want to get him on so bad so I can so I can talk to him to see what type of uh precautions that RTA is taking to protect their drivers from passengers that may have the virus. You know what I'm saying? We we don't know who's having it. We don't know who's passing it on. We we just don't know whoever we come in contact with. But RTA drivers come in close contact with with these passengers that may have the virus. This gentleman right here, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jason Hargrove made a heartfelt Facebook video, and um, and he said that. Uh, you know, he was angry because of a woman got on his bus and coughed several times without covering her mouth. <laughs> that shit crazy. Like, lady, cover your mouth, man. Why you why you coughing, sneezing, or anything like that, man? Why are you getting on the bus just just coughing like that? You don't do that. Now ain't no telling who else she uh, might have affected. But this man right here, he passed of the disease. This disease is serious, y'all. You know, you, you don't know who's who's carrying and you are in close contact. I, I don't even think you can practice social distancing on a bus unless you limit it, unless you limit the amount of people that comes on the bus. Like, you know, maybe every other seat or however the case may be. I don't know, but she's on the bus coughing, yakking, and all like that, man. It's, it's crazy. Let's go to NBC News for the report. This coronavirus is for real. And we out here as public workers doing our job, 
trying to make an honest living. That is DDOT bus driver Jason Hargrove sounding the alarm about his job and coronavirus back on March 21st. He even posted this photo stating, I cannot stay home. I'm on the road for you. The driver's union confirming Hargrove died of COVID-19 overnight. For us to get through this and get over this, man, y'all need to take this serious. His words now about his major concern about coughing passengers is just stunning. It looks like I didn't do enough, or we didn't do enough. But tonight, DDOT drivers are still on the road as the virus explodes across the city. Drivers Union President Glenn Tolbert says he's devastated by Hargrove's death. He says drivers were given gloves and a mask, and buses are being cleaned more often. Bus service was stopped across the river in Windsor. Tolbert spoke to the mayor's office today about more protections for drivers, but not about stopping service. Well, that was never talked about uh, stopping service, no. Um, pretty, uh, the other measures in place, yes, stopping service, no. To protect our bus drivers, we are going to ramp them up uh, with every bit of vigor. <sighs> Messed up, man. Messed up. Now, how can you do that, though? How, how can you stop service? If you stop bus service... You you you're crippling. We 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 are we are already at a cripple, at a crippling fate. People need public transportation to get to work, especially those existential workers that that needs to be at work to continue to make sure that everybody's lives are 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 continuing. But if you if you stop public transportation, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But as far as that lady goes that came on there and 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 did that to this bus driver, you know, that was coughing and yakking and everything like that. Shouldn't he, you know, you got some people saying you got some people saying in his comments that he should have put her off the bus. Maybe he should have, but but still, she she paid to get on, so it's kind of hard to maybe enforce that. You know, you know, yo, lady, you got to get off the bus because you're coughing and all like that. But he didn't want to get close to her because she was coughing. But obviously, you know her particles filled the air and for some re for for you know for that he 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 contacted it and he died of it um it's crazy it's crazy you know this that this invisible threat is is putting you know is is putting a damper on everything on everything and everybody you 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 guys got to be a little bit more attentive you know what i'm saying that was just that that was just downright uh that was just downright deliberate of her to do that you know when she got on his bus you know so for rta workers for bus drivers for public uh transportation drivers out there all over the world i'm praying for you i pray every day i pray every night i pray that everything turns you know turns better you know what i'm saying make sure y'all wash your hands make sure y'all you know if y'all got face masks you know make sure you wear that make make sure you distance yourself definitely can't we we, we can't be personable no more we can't give handshakes. We can't give daps. We can't touch. We can't do nothing because we don't know how this how this this virus is being spread. Here's a here's another article, uh, and this is closer to my home. Uh, C O T A uh, C O T A bus driver he tests positive for the virus. This is out of Columbus, Ohio, which is my home state. A bus driver there in Central Ohio Transit Authority tested positive for the virus 
They announced it Saturday. According to the release, the driver last drove a COTA vehicle on March 12th. Uh, They're supporting the individual and hoping for a successful recovery. Uh, They did not specify which route that he drove, but in a press release, COTA said that the transit vehicles are sanitized nightly using CDC-approved sanitizers. Let's go to... Uh, NBC4 for the report. Well, a bus driver for the Central Ohio Transit Authority tested positive for COVID-19 coronavirus. CODA says the driver last drove a CODA vehicle March 12th. CODA did not say which bus route the driver worked. CODA says all transit vehicles are sanitized nightly using CDC-approved sanitizers. All vehicles are also equipped with hand sanitizing dispensers. So that means... As soon as your ass get on a bus, make sure you hit that sanitizer. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that, you know. But with all walks of life that's coming on, that's coming on public transportation, you know, we got this stay at home order and we got a whole bunch of homeless that's taking advantage of of the buses, you know, for warmth, for comfort, for you know, just to be out of the elements and all like that. Ain't no telling what type of threat that's that these bus drivers are going through. And again, like I said, my brother-in-law, um, he, he's an RTA driver and I just wish that I can get him on to see what type of precautions that RTA is taking. Now I will probably have him on or I will probably talk to him and, and find out, but, um, I'm praying that he stays safe, praying that RTA makes sure that they take precautions to keep their drivers safe. And let's let's continue to try to combat this virus out here. All right, guys, uh, what I'm going to do right now is leave a little bit of the video from uh, Jason Hargrove. And uh, you guys take it easy. I hope you guys stay safe. Make sure you all wash your hands. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that all button for more videos like this. I will continue to bring any, any and all information out to you guys. If you guys have any information for me to share, definitely hit me up in the Gmail at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com or come over to Instagram and hit me up over in Instagram. Uh, if you have any, you know, if you want to leave it in the comments, that's all well and fine. Make sure you guys in, enjoy all of the videos that uh, that I'm pumping out. You know what I'm saying? Um, make sure you keep the conversation going. Make sure you guys stay safe. You guys stay blessed. And I will come back at you with another video. With that said, we are gone. Hey, son. <clears throat> this coronavirus shit is for real. And we out here as public workers doing our job trying to make an honest living to take care of our families. But for you to get on the bus and stand on the bus and cough several times without covering up your mouth and you know that we in the middle of a pandemic, that lets, that, that, that lets me know that some folks don't care utterly don't give a fuck excuse my language but that's how i feel right about now for a grown-ass person in her late 50s early 60s to stand on the fucking bus and cough four and five times without covering up your mouth and you know we in the midst of a motherfucking crisis with this coronavirus i am pissed the fuck off I ain't blaming nobody. I ain't blaming nobody but the woman that did that shit. I ain't putting the, I ain't putting the fault on nobody else. For us to get through this and get over this, man, y'all need to take this shit serious. It's folks dying from this. Listen, 
It's folks dying out here because of this shit. And I don't mean, I, listen, I'm mad right about now because that shit was uncalled for. And I'm trying to be the professional that they want me to be. And I kept my mouth closed. All right, thank you.